Hamilton pool today. You have to make a reservation to come here and it's very, very hard to get a reservation if you're booking like one or two days before. You have to book at least a week or two in advance. We got a little lucky since we got to book around two days before our visit. Sometimes that works too. Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays are generally packed. Let's see how packed it is at the main and Hamilton Pool place. Right now we are just walking on the trails towards Hamilton Pool. It's like a 50 minutes drive from my place. This trail is not stroller or bicycle friendly. So yeah, you'll have to just walk. You can't come here with your bicycle. You see the steps over here? It's more of a step than a ramp. Pool trail this way, river trail this way. Huge rock right behind me. It says fragile area, please stay on trail. I wonder what falls. Yep, no. <laughs> yep, not bicycle friendly at all. pool right there so that's the trail i was talking about we used to go behind and walk behind that trail it's sort of like a semi cave but now you can't do that because of falling rocks that's what the sign says also one thing to note is i don't have any network here so you probably won't as well i have t-mobile and there's no network at hamilton pool so the reservation system at hamilton pool has two time slots every day one is from 9 30 to 12 30 and then the other time slot is 2 p.m to 5 30 p.m so it's 12 dollars to book online you have to make the reservation online that is about 12 dollars and then you have to have eight dollars per person in cash when entering the hamilton pool reserve so it's a total of $19 but if you're a group of three then it'll be $8 per person in cash when you're entering and then obviously you have the $12 online reservation fee. So that's the fee structure of entering Hamilton Pool. reached the end of the trail we're getting back to our car we were going to the other side of hamilton pool but the trail was longer than i expected and it was already 12 30. one of the rangers came up and told us that we need to head back because it's 12 30 already they're pretty strict with the timing that's the parking right there there is enough parking here we are heading to another ranch let's see how that is getting kicked out from Hamilton Pool, we are now at Rymer's Ranch. We are on the trail now that ends at Pardonalis River. It's supposed to be a really good scenery. So let's see how it looks like in real life. You can see a hint of the river right there. That's where we are heading towards. I wonder if this is really going to be a beach. This is probably the smallest beach I've ever seen, but that's the Perdinalis River. This is what they call a beach here, so... So this Rymers Ranch is also included in the Hamilton Pool Pass. It's, I think, a network of Travis parks that are included in your reservation. So that $11 gets you to quite a few parks. 
in Travis County. It's a little too hot here. I think we'll head back now. This was about it for the Rymers Ranch. It's a beautiful place. I think maybe a little cooler would have helped. But it's the beach, everyone likes tanning. And I don't think I need tan. That's it for this video. If you liked it, do hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next vlogs. Catch you guys on the next one.